What's going on everybody? We are packing for a trip and we've got four kids. Have you ever tried to pack for four kids? Neither have I, but she has and she's the master. So she's got five of her best tips to help you when you're trying to pack for your family. Nothing fancy, just hopefully some ways to help you eliminate some of the stress of getting prepared for trips. Number one, plan ahead. If you're going to have to make purchases, Target runs, Walmart runs, prime drop off, or just run to the grocery store to grab some snacks, make sure you do that before the day of. It's just gonna help eliminate some of that stress. Number two, wash and clean all laundry. Now for me, that's daunting. I have six people in this home. That's a lot of laundry. But I make sure everything is clean and ready to go. I want a clean slate when I'm ready to start packing up those suitcases. Otherwise, I'm like, oh, that shirt is supposed to be in here and it's dirty. Then I gotta stay up late, wash, dry, and chances are that shirt's still gonna be in the dryer when we pull out of the driveway. So wash and clean everything, get everything set up, put away, and then start your packing process. Number three, make a list. Where my type A's at, I love a good list. I love to check off a list. I get the kids involved in this process. Each, well, the older children. The older children will help me sit down, make a list of what they wanna bring, as well as I'll add to that as some as well. Twins, I'll usually just make their list for them. Each child can then help me as we pack their suitcases. Each child then is able to help me check off that list as we start putting things away and getting things packed up. So they are a part of the process. They're making sure nothing's getting left behind. Again, it's just a little accountability for, for me as well. Number four is the golden tip. This was a game changer for us and I don't know why, it just, really just brought the process of packing, especially once you're on the trip, it just brought that stress level down like to, to zero almost. It's just so helpful for us. It's really worked for us. It's the Ziploc bag breakdown. And this is the tip that made me encourage her to make a video on these things because when we traveled last time, for example, I help out with the kids uh, whenever we're getting everybody dressed. So this next tip was really something that helped me to see the value in it. And it really helped me as I was getting the girls ready in the mornings. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna take Ziploc bags, gallon size, and each child, for each day gets a bag. You're gonna write that name and that day on the outside of the bag. It's just simple, take a Sharpie, name what day they're supposed to wear that outfit. If they have multiple outfits for the day, say a morning and an evening outfit, or like a play clothes and some like going out clothes, make sure you have multiple bags. Um, and you make sure you label those as well. You're gonna have their names, their days, their clothes for the day are in that bag. That includes socks, panties, underwear, dresses, skirts, tops, pantyhose, whatever they need, it goes in that bag for that outfit, other than shoes. <laughs> so as she would be getting the big girls ready, fixing the hair and doing such, I would be getting the twins ready and it would just be so easy. I could just grab the two bags and be ready to go. So this helps in a lot of ways. Um, one, I can just simply say, Chris, will you get the twins ready? He knows exactly what they're supposed to wear because he kind of has tendency of like, just grabbing the first thing he sees and so that may not be the best thing this way that eliminates all of the surprise fashion shows that I might be victim to later. Um, also, for you mamas out there, tell me this isn't wonderful. It completely eliminates the, mama, what am I supposed to wear? Can you help me pick out something to wear? Is this okay to wear? Totally done. You already know what you're gonna wear. Uh, and then also for those of you that have maybe that particular child that likes to fight about everything they wanna wear or pitch a fit or maybe they just wanna get creative in their outfit, again, no surprises. They know exactly what they're supposed to wear. They've already seen it. They can help in the process of picking it out so that there's no fights, there's no breakdowns, there's no stress. You just say, everybody go get your outfit for today on. Number five is the extra bag. Now, again, there, this is not rocket science. It's just a little something that's helped us in the process and we've learned it the hard way. We always pack, each child has a book bag that has a couple of things for the road, like their iPads, coloring books, colors. But those bags also contain some essentials like their toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, a change of clothes, extra shoes, um, maybe a bathing suit, and then some pajamas. Uh, what that does is if we have to stop along the way, if we have accidents, um, if we have a hotel stay that night, 
we no longer have to unload a million suitcases to go in, sleep, and get back in the car in the morning. All we have to do is say, everybody grab your book bag, and we're ready to go. So the extra pair of clothes in the bag is helpful, and it depends on when you're traveling. For example, we're leaving at 4 a.m. in the morning. So we're just gonna go get the girls, grab the twins, and just put them in their seats with the pajamas on. So in the bag, we'll have a pair of day clothes so that they can change later on when we stop for gas or breakfast or whatever. Is that it? I think that's it. All right, if this information was helpful for you, please click the like button and share it and subscribe. And we appreciate you for checking our video out and we hope to see you around next time. See you later, bye.